that's, that's what I want to do. I want to be in around the six-yard box, in around the penalty box, getting onto the edge of things. And yeah, thankfully it fell to Clifton and, and he scored. So if that counts as my first town assist, I'll, I'll take it. So no, happy days. No, I like, I like playing as a two up top. Um, again, it's up to what Gaffer and Doggy choose to play and, and how they want to play. I'll, I'll play either way, but yeah, I like playing with a partner up top, something you can work off with. And obviously, again, on Saturday, it probably gave the two centre half something to think about late on. And Bim was able to distract one or two of them, and I was able to get on the end of it to give it to Clifton to score. I think I'm a, I'm a hard worker, I run. Um, I pride myself on working hard for the team and, and making sure when I come off the pitch, everyone knows that I gave my all for everyone out there. and. I think that's what this group's about all together, not only myself, but a group of hard workers, runners, a bit of heart, and obviously saw it last year with the playoff run and, and the start of this year in Rochdale and Warsaw, it's that kind of never say die at you. No, it was, um, yeah, game time was probably limited to, to what I wanted. Um, but yeah, for me, it was about coming to, coming to a club, especially with uh, the gaffer and Doigie about where I'm going to improve as a player, um, how I can improve myself all round, and, whether it was League Two or the National League with, with this group, it was it was a club I was interested in straight away. It's a massive club, massive fan base, and I'm happy to be here and ready to kick on. Yeah. You've obviously got to grow up quite a bit going out to a completely different country. It's not kind of like you're just going an hour flight, two hour flight, it's 10 hours. Yeah. Um, you're out there for kind of six months at a time, possibly. It was, um, it was character building, but I loved every minute of being out there and really enjoyed my time out there. And again, like I said, it just put me in good stead for coming back here and, and working my way up. Uh, no, it was, yeah, it was a good level. I think like, over there they're quite big on fitness and and the gym side of it. Um, the technical side's obviously getting better each year and they're obviously putting more money into it and, and the, the sport as a whole is growing. Um, yeah, it's not quite English football yet, um, but English football is what my dream was and what I wanted to do, so I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Um, a couple of lads a little bit stiff, but nothing that's going to going to keep people out for too long. You know, we might look after one or two players. Um, there will be some changes to the team. Don't mind, um, you know, saying that. But at the same time, as I've just said to the players, we, we know the team we put out is competitive, and we want to try and win the game. You know, we're not going to use it as an excuse, um, and certainly not going into the game thinking we've just got to get through it. So, um, you know, it's an opportunity for some players uh, who'll be in the team. And as I said, every game that we take part in, we and that goes like pre-season friendlies. You know, that's something that we stress to the players all the time. They're aware of that. We know it'll be a tough test. Not quite sure what team Derby will put out, um, but one we'll look forward to in you know in front of um, you know a, a really all played in a really nice stadium, good facilities. So it's one that again, I'm hoping that the players are looking forward to. Who comes into your thing? But, you know, there will be some players that maybe haven't had as much football as they would have liked. Um, but again, I'm looking at it and it, I genuinely am viewing it as an opportunity for players. Um, some, you know, we started the season relatively well, uh, but clearly not going to be happy with everything uh, that we that we're witnessing. And also the the kind of other message to the players is we've, or oh, I've been relatively fortunate in the sense of not having to make too many decisions in terms of the maybe the 18 uh, or 20 as we've had in a couple of occasions uh, for the match day squad so I haven't had to upset too many people you know hopefully getting one or two players coming back and, and maybe uh, some additions before Thursday um, or on Thursday even then I'm gonna have to start leaving people out and it's kind of not a threat at all but just want them to understand that so if it does happen, you know, they have been sort of told about it uh, because we're going to have to carry more players than um, we can fit in for every game. So that competition has to be healthy. Uh, and I, like I said, just making the players aware of that. Um, we've got a, a sort of preferred candidate yet, so we, we'll look at that and see. But we're certainly not in a position where there's anything to announce at this stage. Um, how are you viewing this competition this year, Paul, the EFL Trophy? I want to try and do well in it. And again, I've said that to the players that, you know, I think it's kind of can be frowned upon in a lot of areas, um, maybe a lot of clubs. And while I've said there will be changes to the team, you know, I still want us to do well. Um, we've got, I think, a very tough group. Um, I'm hearing a lot about how good Manchester City's 21s are, which I guess you'd sort of expect. Um, 
and then we've got Derby and, and Mansfield who are obviously going to be very strong in, in our league so it's a tough group uh, but well, let's see if we can get through it. You know, if you can get through it and then maybe win that next game and one after that, and all right, that's he's jumping ahead, I accept that, but suddenly everyone thinks the competition's good and are interested, and I've experienced it myself as, as a player. Um, so I, I'd, you know, love our players to experience that. Lifting that trophy was a, a special moment and one that you certainly don't frown upon it if you get to that stage. Um, since the revamp of this competition, Grimsby haven't made it beyond the, the group stages of this competition. How much at least do you want to put that right this time around? Yeah, that would be great. You know what? Well, no one's going to sort of lose too much sleep if that doesn't happen. We, you know, the league's the most important, always is. But we said it would be nice to have a little cup run if, if possible, whichever competition. I guess it wasn't the longest run, but we experienced certainly a good night um, getting through to the second round of the Carabao Cup um, and again this is a competition that could open up some some nice games and, and certainly one very special occasion at the end of it if uh, you know whoever gets there we, we saw, I watched Sutton last year obviously we were kind of Rotherham connection um, and Sutton were very close to, to lifting that trophy and I'm, for their club a fantastic day out um, you know why can't that be a, a Grimsby Town? So we, we'll see. There's a long, a long way to go before we can even dream about that. But let's see if we can get through this group. As you said the other day, we we hadn't won at Walsall for a long time, and that thankfully that was put right. Um, any, any history, we look at it, and we do get some funny sort of trends happening. But ultimately, this group of players have never failed to get through a group. It's a different group of players, and and let's see if they can be successful.